Hey again, and welcome back to another download. A short one for you today, luckies. And we're starting today with an item that we just couldn't squeeze in yesterday. Uh, but don't worry, we wrapped it up all good and tight in the fridge, so it's still plenty fresh. And plenty fancy, too. This, the summertime resort of Russian President Dmitry Medvedev. And this, his summertime guest, Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez. Hey, thanks for the invite. Where's the poll? Now, actually, the two leaders discussing serious issues such as cooperation between their gas and oil operations, and a proposal from Mr. Chavez for a strategic alliance to protect Venezuela from the U.S. Uh, in official diplomatic terms, a case of tit for tat. Uh, the United States is very active in the territories of the former Soviet Union, in some of the territories especially, like Georgia, like Ukraine. It's only natural that Russia would reciprocate the reciprocation, if indeed that's what it is, only a proposal at this point, still one that, well, Mr. Chavez clearly seems to like very much. Uh, and this item now, for the record books, the state of Zimbabwe has claimed the top spot for the world's worst currency inflation ever. Want an example? Well, how about this? Zimbabwe now printing up $100 billion notes. Uh, that's a one with 11 zeros. And you know, here's the tragedy. One of them is only enough to buy half a loaf of bread. Packs of $100 billion notes needed for even the most austere trip to the market. Uh, the only sunny side of all this, although only worth $5 U.S. legally, the notes are already appearing on sale on eBay for prices well into the hundreds of U.S. dollars. Well, the countdown clock to the start of this summer's Olympics keeps on a ticking. Fifteen days and counting, Beijing. Uh, well, while the athletes' rooms are being prepared and the store shelves filled with those, whatever those little mascots are, I wonder what's left. Ooh. Hey, guys, check it out. Synchronized security. Uh, this James Bondish show of police muscle, just part of a massive security crackdown throughout Beijing. Frankly, looking a little like an Olympic event in its own right. Well, there's no mistaking China doing everything it can to keep these Olympic Games running smoothly. Uh, the message here, no demonstrations or other shenanigans will be tolerated. Visitors already on notice that they will be frisked, questioned, and even scanned for banned substances. Uh, which means it's probably a good thing that Bodie Miller won't be in attendance. See, remember, he was the guy, the one, okay, never mind. Uh, well, here's something that you'll definitely want to take note of. It's VOA's Olympics page, and it's chock-a-block with athlete profiles, scores, scene setters, all the controversies as well. Everything Olympic, and it's all at one spot on the web, voanews.com. So, you know, go ahead. Why not take a peek right now? I mean, you know, after you finish watching the download. Well, finally today, if it's summer in Key West, Florida, it's time once more for yet another Ernest Hemingway lookalike contest. Yes, I know, boring. But you know, right from the outset, this one seemed different. Sloppy Joe's bar, the setting, you know, nothing out of the ordinary here, or inside the bar for that matter. Yeah, yeah, it's a bunch of white bearded old coots wearing sweaters and looking grizzled. We get it. Uh, the competition as silly as it is every year, and judged by the previous winning old coots as well. Okay, so just what was it then that was so different about this year's contest? Well, we were scratching our heads until we saw a great shot of the great man himself. And then we got it, of course. Why, it's none other than Radovan Hemingway. Our only question, do you think Mr. Karadzic has ever read For Whom the Bell Tolls? You know, it was either Ernest Hemingway or Jerry Car Garcia. We just can't decide. Uh, well, that is our download for today. Stay beardy, and we'll see you again real soon. Awesome.